today we are in JW Corbett. This is a wildlife area. A lot of people come here to hike, others to hunt and stuff like that. We have been here before for Apollo's birthday. I will put the video in the description down below for that one. We came today to just see how it was and let the dogs go for a walk and see what is up here. Line. Back up and give this thing some speed. And hopefully we make it through. What do you think? I think we will make it through. Yeah, we'll find out. Not, I don't have to get dirty with the max trucks. Let's go. Buddy, we just got here and you're full of mud already. <laughs> <laughs> you brought the towel, right? I didn't. I thought you said you were grabbing it. I forgot. <laughs> Venus, don't go down there. I know you love the water. <laughs> I think the other side have a little more of mud. Yep. Look at this. <laughs> this place is really, really nice. During the weekends, a lot of people come in jeeps and for, for four vehicles, all terrain kind of type of vehicles, and it gets pretty packed. Today is a weekday, so it's not that full. We like to come on weekdays like that. We are alone with the dogs, less people. He's using the Canon 1DX with the, Venus, Apollo. I think the 24 to 70. Venus. Good girl. Apollo. Nope. Uh -uh. Venus. This is other of our cameras. This is the Canon C200. This is my husband's professional camera. For those that don't know, my husband have a production company. So that's why we have so many cameras. We didn't buy these cameras for YouTube. Don't think we are that crazy. We bought these cameras for my husband's job. And we use them for YouTube in our free time. And there goes wow. Apollo.
This part here is one of the campgrounds and it have like a little dock and the river is back here. It's so pretty, but the other side, it looked like it got a fire recently. It wasn't like this when we came back on August. It really, it's really sad. Look, there's an eagle. I don't know if you guys saw it. Yes. Oh, I hope you guys saw it. There was a bald eagle. She's coming this way, I think. No, she's going that way. like the pet store to train them we have a few trees that we got in the store earlier and now we are training him because there's a lot of smells here like other dogs that have come and they have pee or they have left their scent also these uh, specific store have cats and birds so we like to train them outside we walk them we give them commands to keep them fresh Right now he's training Apollo. I'm inside the car with Venus. Hey Venus! Right now he's practicing with him walking on the leash, sitting, stay, all his basic commands. We practice them not only in our house, but we practice them everywhere. Wherever we go, if we have an extra 10-20 minutes, we practice with them and retrain them. Make sure they have fresh in their minds that wherever we go, they have to behave. And this is a perfect example of a place that is really good if you want to come and train your dog. You could do it outside of the store where there is not going to be an incident where you're gonna be next to a dog right in front of it if your dog if you're not sure if your dog will behave with other dogs but there's the smells of other dogs <laughs> he looks so cute